So, Kasha, are you... Oh, yeah, she's sleeping in my bed. Oh, this is awkward. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, you're the one person who's not annoyed with me. House cow. Lydia has helped out around the house quite a lot. Oh. She insists on helping sweep the house, but I have to deny her. We're very fortunate to have such kind friends, don't you think? Ah, oh, too nice. What do you think about the house? It's kind of cramped, but I can't complain. There's a lot less cleaning to do. Alright, I hope my kid didn't bother you. You didn't say anything about the kid, though. <laughs> okay, well, I'm ready to go to Euphoria Palace. Can it wait for a bit? Um... I mean, don't you, don't you think we should... shouldn't really put on hold that thing any longer? Okay, if you're not too busy, then we can go to the palace right now. I just have such a bad feeling about this. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. You're probably right, but we do have to do that. Talk to the receptionist. Uh, it is late, but there's only one bed, and there is like four of us, so... Wait, no, you have your own bed. Hey, kid. Huh? I think it's probably best if you, you know, stay home. Alright then. Okay. Alright, sorry. And, you know, I will leave though. I played with Lucy in the park today. I feel sorry for her. Yeah, I can't adopt everyone. I'm gonna head out. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Stay safe. Thank you. Farewell. Bye, Papa. What did you give me? Your child Life is a big meanie. Yeah, she's... she keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. Don't play with her. Your child's skill with hide and seek appears to have rubbed off on you. You're cautioned as you credit, as others have a harder time detecting your presence. She gave me a sneak bonus. Oh, that kid. And she was casting invisibility on herself earlier. I think she did that when her health was low or something. It's really awesome. But considering we're going to the brothel, it's probably best that she stays behind. Right. Now oh, this elk still is trying to get into the brothel. I, still, I think they're just denying him. It's very unfair. Oh gosh, Inigo, you will be too eager. Alright. <laughs> I hope they're not discriminating against the Khajiit. Um, it should work with Nemesis instead of Fenice. Right, my beard disappeared. Oh, my followers are snacking. All right, hope you like that soup. I think we stole it from someplace. Nothing like stolen soup. Why is this lady in blood? Lust, submit to your desires, indulge in pleasure. Why blood though? Okay. Is that supposed to be wine? It's still weird. Hello, lady behind the two broad cha um, table. Hello, my name is Sarah. How may I help you? Well, Sarah, we're here to see Serenity Sirens. Sirens? Yep. Oh, you mean our courtesans. Mm. Just head up the stairs behind me and you will enter the brothel. I don't think that's why we're here. Are those the same sirens allied with Marcus Pinder? Mr. Pinder? Well, he is a very respected gentleman amongst the staff. But I doubt they would call him an ally when it comes to our affairs. Oh? What's your relationship with him? Has he sent you here? Well, sort of, but he is dead. Dead? That's very sad news. Like I said, our staff was quite fond of him. He always took time out of his life to help around the palace. Oh, did he? May I ask how he died? I thought he lived in that little village. Well, uh, I think that might be between me and the sirens. That's fair. Although I'm hesitant about speaking any further about the sirens. Okay. Leave the palace and make your way down the hill. 
Turn <gasps> left, then oh you should goodness. see the entrance Thank to so a much. warehouse. Got a must be on guard duty right five about five copies. Now. <laughs> Tell her that you know about the sirens and that I sent you. She will take care of you. That is that is extremely generous of you. Thank you so much. <sighs> oh my god, I want to sleep, but the brothel was a bad idea. Hello. Do we need to talk or this is the Euphoria Palace warehouse. There is nothing to see here, traveler. It's kind of a creepy warehouse, really. I'm seeking Serenity Siren Sarah sent me. Did she now? No problem. You're clear to go on through. Now, that's okay. Why are those stones there? Oh. Might be some kind of sa oh conflict. Why was it sound so happy? Nothing to see here is always a lie, yeah. <laughs> nothing to see here at all. If there was nothing... Oh, Clee. Nothing to see, you wouldn't have to say that. Oh, thanks. I'm collecting quarry stone like one stone at a time, instead of, you know, being a responsible person and actually collecting my own quarry stone from the mine. I just... I need to find some mines nearby, and there are none. More creepy statues. Statue of the Sun. Oh! May his triumphs live on for eternity. And that was the guy who enslaved women for devious purposes. Um, hello. Ninjas. It's funny. All that reminds of the sun's inflated ego is that statue. Why keep it though? Oh, are you a siren? Expecting someone else? You're lucky that Blondie over there seems to be here on her own terms. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered to say hello. Let's get straight to the point. Okay. Sarah dropped the news that Marcus is dead. Care to tell the full story? Oh, she's quick. Did she email you or something? <laughs> well, uh, it's a long story, but... And you have no connection to the Mercs? No. Or to Purity? No. You just walked into the town one day and yes. got involved in this mess. It's just my luck, you know. Well, it's just kind of how it is. Well, I still don't trust you. The feeling's mutual. But I'll leave your fate to Matari. Now walk with me. Try anything, and you'll have to deal with more than just the four of us. Okay. I wonder if I can take you. Probably. Maybe not in close quarters, but. Hmm. Is one strange place, I sort of missed it. Also, I'm extremely dirty, I hope that's okay. I feel bad for those rugs now. Imagine the amount of boots must be on my sh shoes right now. Ugh. Whoever's cleaning this, I'm sorry. Freya, Matari instructed that you bring only the Pinder daughter. Change of plans. Very dark in here. Meditation chamber. You brought the stranger with you? Are you out of your mind? Hello. You had quite the interesting stuff. Do you mind if I bathe here? Because I'm kind of dirty. I mean, this is. Mistress, this is what are your orders? I could just um, have some soap over Not here. Anymore. I have faith in Freya's judgment. The stranger may stay. See, Melody? Just because you've moved up in rank doesn't mean your decisions are on par with mine. Now, let's get on with this. Mistress, the stranger has confirmed an attack on Jonestead, spearheaded by the heroes of Nern. Under direct orders, I hope this is water anyway. were successful in killing Master Pinder. Commander Boska escaped. Mm -hmm. Our savior, 
managed to secure the safety of the town citizens and foil the to capture Kasha Kendo. That explains the low I don't see any um, scouts near Fort Pazarat. Like they were busy dealing with the town. What's it called? Like was it water goes? Any, any kind of um, the veterans system here? We can manage. So I'm not sure this water this actually moment, like flows anywhere. Does it stay here forever? Is there some kind of um some kind of um sanitation system here? Where is she? Oh, yeah. Are you gonna Your answer? mother is dead. What? She was stationed at Fort Pazarath during the attack. I told you we should have gone no straight survivors. away. Um ah, shit. No. Not her too. She was just we just received news she was alive and now she's Melody. dead. Yes, mistress. Leave us, Freya. Inform the others of the news and have Tarius prepare a room for two. We can speak privately about the situation later. Are you sh oh. Yes, mistress. I do have the mod that the sea was my shadow, and now here my shadow is active again. I shouldn't have a shadow, that's strange. Um, anyway, hi. Hello. Dragon hi. You know who I am? No person of your caliber escapes my attention. Okay. The others fail to recognize you, but I do. Okay. Your aura, your demeanor, is of a magnitude I You could have said your smell, but alright. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have many questions. You will receive your answers. Thank you. First, I would like to congratulate you on succeeding where we failed. Oh? Our organization was founded in order to protect the Pinder family. Oh. Marcus may have been killed, but you ensured the safety of his daughter. Yeah, wait. Yeah, what happened to the support that you requested? Shouldn't have you have come there eventually? The surprise attack on Fort Pazarath prevented us from sending any sirens to defend Jonestead. Still? We lost a significant portion of our forces. You haven't sent anyone at all? Wow. Okay, well, one of Bosca's men mentioned that name. Fort Pazarath was our only stronghold in Skyrim besides this palace. Hmm. It is off the eastern coast, isolated and heavily fortified. Well, this is pretty isolated too. Pazarath shares a similar history to this palace. It belonged to purity before being abandoned. It is now theirs once again. Okay. Well, I could really use some more information about that Project Purity. Besides what Marcus may have told you, there is little that we know. You don't know what he the has told me though. The purity of today is certain to have motivations far different from the purity that existed 200 years ago. Mm. The current one is a spiritual successor, carrying only the name and the resources. But why? It is next to impossible to gather intelligence on an enemy that has remained in the shadows for so long. However, we do have information on the mercenary group that you encountered in Jonestead oh. and its commander. Oh, okay. Bosco then. The Argonian comes from a wealthy family. His entire inheritance went into the formation of the Heroes of Nern. Oh, it's, it sounds like he Service got involved with a cult of the or company something. Portray them in a positive light. Collectively, the company has seen action in every province. Okay. Their contracts usually consist of defending villages from bandits oh. and carrying out reconnaissance for whoever they believe so is So he found his justice. own uh, fighters guild with his own money? Hence their name. Okay, well, sounds like they're really full of themselves then. Bosca is an idealist with a passion to save the world. Aren't we all? His reasoning <laughs> for the name is now quite contrary to their allegiance with Project Purity. Oh. A perfect example of how even the most honorable heroes can be manipulated to serve their enemies. That's quite ironic for this that situation. That would be enough talk, Dragonborn. Okay, I won't be mentioning any more meta commentary right now. The daughter is in need of comfort over the loss of her mother. I believe only you can help with that matter. Yeah, I suppose I'll check on her, you know. Not because you said so, because I want to. Good. 
Before you leave, I have requested that a room be made available for the two of you. Don't you have two rooms, though? I have further business that should be discussed over dinner in the presence of company. Ah, how nice. Speak with Tarius the butler in the dormitory lobby and he will show you to your room. Tarius the butler. It would be wise for you and Kaja to get some sleep in the safety of this palace. Hmm. For the time being, I am asking that Kaja remain here. That has to be her decision. Although you are free to come and go as you please. And she is not? You are dismissed. That kind of sounds a bit ominous. I feel thirsty while I'm not drinking from this pool. Alright, let's save and move on. Talk about selling the waters. The lighting in this room is kind of weird. Hello. Matari let you live. Yep. I'm surprised. I passed by Blondie in the lobby, moping. <laughs> I'm having trouble believing she's a Tinder. What? Have some respect. Her family just died. Wow, did I hit a nerve? Feeling a little angry? Not really, just she's been through a lot. Go easy on her. Oh, how cute. Go on. Get back to whatever it is you were doing. You're no fun. Okay. And now it's kind of awkward when we said goodbye, but we need to go in the same direction. Don't follow me. Hello? I'll leave you two alone. Okay. Hey, Melody and I were just talking. So we're getting a room? Yeah, apparently. She wanted to meet us after the, afterwards for dinner. That's nice. What did Matari say? Anything about my mother? No, actually. Um, I suppose I just didn't ask. That's okay. I'm sure you had more important things on your mind. Damn it. <laughs> way, for, way to guilt me. Do you want to talk? Um, not here. Let's go find our room first. Yeah, why couldn't they give us two rooms? It seems like they have plenty. Plus Inigo, it's gonna be really awkward for the three of us. Inigo, you're not third wheeling, don't worry. <laughs> Everyone just ignoring him. Maybe they're just racist, I don't know. Hello everyone, including people with horns. Hi. Need something? Um, lovely weather, I suppose. It would seem so. I don't know what weather it is because we're indoors and there are no windows here. Hi. Ah, the visitors. Yep. I am Terius, the Siren's butler. Hi. Please, let me show you to your room. Is there any blood in there? Because I'm kind of thirsty. No? I guess not. I do like that they all have stuff to do and places to go, even though these people seem to be very confused about where to go. I just came to the end of this <laughs> corridor and I'm about to go back. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what to do with people. Uh huh. Okay. This is your room, sir. Thanks. I will be in the lobby if you need anything. Have a good night. Yeah, I mean 7 p.m. But okay. I guess. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Is any good bard? Oh, wait, now here he is. Hey. I was hoping for something a little more cozy. This place feels so... empty. Well, I suppose so. I'm glad I'm not the only one. In that room with Matari, I felt so uncomfortable. Well, she was just sitting there in the it pool, so... It was so cold so... and dark. I felt like I was alone, yet you were all there with me. And when I heard about my mother, I had to leave. Hmm. I can't believe it. First my father, now my mother. A mother I never knew. Well... I don't know. I don't think there's anything that can be done right now. 
You're right. I just need to move on and keep focus. With or without the sirens' help. You have doubts about the sirens. I didn't mean to sound judgmental. We just got here. I can't help but feel disappointed, you know? No? How Matari and Freya reacted? Hmm. First impressions, I guess, can say a lot. Yeah, they don't really care about you, I do they? I expected them to feel like I did. Maybe more about my father. I wanted them to. To know that my father didn't sacrifice his entire life only to not be respected by the thing he created. Yet they seemed so dismissive of him. It didn't even affect them. I wonder if my father distanced himself too far from the siren so he could be with me. But then that would mean he made a mistake. What? No. The sirens are more important in the end. They were his family. No, they weren't. They were his colleagues. But you were also family. Well, you were more family. He did his best raising all of you. Maybe he put a little too much effort raising me. But that's not, not the effort, point. But he was kind of too I'm controlling. I'm about the siren's motivations. Do you think if their fortress hadn't been attacked, they would still be helping us? Uh... Would my father's death have been enough to motivate them into continuing the fight? I don't know about I that. I need to know they're doing this to protect others and not for vengeance. Well... I know about of course, so, but I suppose their reasons don't really matter as long as they're aligned with ours. With our cause, you know? You're right. But as strange as it sounds, their reasons matter to me. I suppose you're right. So, it's kind of rude. What are you trying to say? I... I want to ask you something. Mm. You're my guardian and I'm your maid. <laughs> but I need to be something more. <laughs> for my father. <clears throat> I want to join the sirens. <laughs> Try not to spill the tea. To make tea. sure my family isn't okay. forgotten if we win this war. Ah, uh, guardian and maid. Yeah, that's uh... <laughs> that's one type of relationship. Um... Well... But you don't know how to fight. I can train. I'm not afraid of what I'll have to endure. Okay, well, if that's what you want, it's really not for me to decide that for you. So, you're free to do so. Really? Wow, thank you. I was afraid it would take a lot more to convince you. I'm not your new father. You make, you're making this weird. He was way too controlling. Look, just take care of yourself. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. No problem. I'll practice every day to make sure that never happens. I know, but never. But you still need to convince them to let you join. I know, but with your support, it will be a lot easier. I don't think I carry much I'll weight bring it here. Up during dinner they with wanted Atari. to kill me a second ago. Back me up, okay? Don't let them make you second guess yourself. I won't. Okay. Anyway, I was thinking of getting some sleep. Hmm. I'll do my share of exploring some other time. Exploring what the brothel? I do want to check out how the sirens train and hear their advice. Hmm get an idea on what to expect if they do accept me into their ranks. But you should go out and have some fun. Take a break from adventuring for once. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. I'm sure there's plenty to see down here, and interesting people to talk to. Uh, um, just don't hang around on the upper floors. Unless you're into the sort of things that go on up there. Uh, stuff that goes on up here is very intense, so um... Uh, I... I don't think I'm that curious. I am not that kind of person, I guess. Good. Don't let those things tempt you away from being a noble person. Well, I mean... I won't take up any more of your time. You sound a bit too let judgmental me know you right now. Let want to go to bed so I can get dressed. We have a big day ahead You can go to bed whenever you want long. to. You're making it weird. Why did I adopt a 19-year-old again? Hey. Something on your mind? Thoughts? No. My mind is as blank as your expression right now. Huh. No offense. Also, no eyebrows. Look, if you want to go to bed, you can go to bed. Ready to get some sleep? I am. It's not even eight. Sure. Okay, just give me a minute <laughs> to change my sleepwear. Stay over by the door. Okay. No peeking. Wouldn't want to. This shouldn't take too long. All I need is In a nice go? evening gown and can finally get some rest. T turn around. <laughs> In you go. <laughs> you done? I wanted to ask you something. When we first met back in the warehouse at Jonestead, I was arguing with Bosco, remember? Mm. I made such a fool of myself by thinking I could make him see reason. It was so embarrassing to have you see me fail. So I'm wondering, why are you allowing me to join the sirens? Allowing you? We haven't known each other for very long. Exactly my point. 
Cleaning houses isn't what your ordinary warrior does for a living. I don't know. I mean, Lydia probably cleans my house right now. <laughs> and she's a warrior. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, it's mostly her house, I guess. Hey. And this outfit isn't exactly standard issue armor. Well, don't go fighting like this, then. I think you should just decide your own fate. I'm surprised that you're giving me all this freedom. It's unusual for me. It's not for me to give it to you. But you'll get used to it. It comes with, with responsibility. It just... Don't kill me for your superhero motivation. You're right. I'm and not the Uncle Ben. taking that for granted. Go ahead and shut off the lights. Mm. Pleasant dreams. Okay. Don't let the skivers bite. What? Where? That... I'm just say, saying. Oh! Gods, don't scare me like that. Okay. Alright, if there are any skeevers, I'm sure Inigo will take care of them. That... It, right? Okay. That bed does not look very inviting, to be honest. What? Ew. Tripping. The lighting is really strange. I was wondering how the scene would look like with the haze weathers. I think with um, not uh, something. It was black and white, which I really enjoyed a lot. And this is sort of like desaturated, but um, not completely black and white. Hi. At last, you have arrived, child. Are you prepared to commence your long-awaited wedding ceremony? Long-awaited? What? W what is going on? You must be so anxious that you are in a daze. This is your wedding day. Now, are you ready? No. No, no it is not. I'm, I'm not interested in women. Then you are only a friend. A friend that should play along for her sake. No, that would be cruel. I refuse. Fine. Leave. Okay. Ah, well. I said leave. I, I was going to, just you locked the doors. Then perhaps fate has decided that you are to be married That's after all. That's not how marriage works. Or oh, fate. No, let me go. Your defiance is amusing. I'm happy to see that you're amused. Tell me where the key is, now. If there was a key, then you'll have to look for it yourself. Now, either leave me be, or ask to continue this wedding as planned. Not happening. The Void. By Unknown. Anu, Padme. Both are birthed from the darkness. When nothing exists, they thrive and create. I too emerged from nothing. From the remains of failed creations, long forgotten, I was born. An abomination devoid of everything and nothing at once. No realm to call my own and no comfort here in the void. Are you serious? So I exist within, where, I wo where it was once empty I thrive. In the souls of mortals I create. When they kill, I kill. When they die, I die. And when they experience euphoria, I too experience euphoria. But I am still hungry. Hungry for something that I cannot yet have that they do. So I exist within others only to be empty myself. I am afraid. You sound like an artificial organism. So I don't know. Hi. You mustn't leave. Um, I need to leave though. That's very funny. No, I'm, I'm, you're not smiling. But I am. Why are we here? We're here to get married, silly. Okay. Oh, thanks. Oh.
Oh, didn't we see that same thing in the window outside the brothel? Hello? Abomination. Interesting. I was so certain that he would have... I can hear you. You are not supposed to be here, Dovahkiin. What's he gonna do? Kick me out? Oh, you, you are. Well, I mean, that's what I wanted anyway. Oh, uh, hi. I'm kind of dizzy. Can I turn on the lights? Uh, where's the lights? Wait, wait, where's the lights? There. Okay. Oh, much better. Oof. Easy there. Hey, what? Well, what? You're in Euphoria Palace. Okay. Our dorm room. Are you okay? Mm. Do you want me to get some water? Some blood would be nice, but uh, I'm fine. What happened? I'm not sure. At first I thought you were restless, but then you started struggling violently in bed. Freya was nearby. What? I asked her for help and she ran off to get someone. Nearby? In our bedroom? What even was that? Um, about five minutes ago. Oh, I lost when? track okay. of time watching over you. Sorry. I couldn't leave you alone like this. So you couldn't wake me up? I... I'm, I'm not sure if I'm already going back to sleep. That was a lot, but I think we should... Hold on. What happened? You can talk to me. I think I left the room. Where did you go? And... It was... Well, honestly, it just looked like Riften, but I can't say for sure. And what did you see? Uh, we were getting married, you and I. Oh, uh... Did you... Uh... No. No. Oh, you did? Did you realize that nothing that was happening was real? Well... I mean, not at the time, I just didn't want to marry you. Well, uh... I guess in the end you made the right decision. I didn't mean to upset you, though. I wish I did that, too. I did upset you, didn't I? I'm sorry. I'll go back to sleep then. Ah, oh, jeez. Hello. Why are there just random people in my bedroom? Note. Hey, I am going to... To get some fresh air out in a grotto down the hole. Fresh air in the grotto? Alright. Come get me when you're ready to head to the dining room for dinner around 5. I brought you some food from the kitchen. Enjoy. Ah, oh, well. Sure. And the silver platter, apparently. Hi. The hero has awoken. The hero can hear you. What now? Now, you learn as much of the truth that can be permitted by me. A silent observer. Clearly not silent, though. You've spoken to her on Nern, and she's spoken to you in the void. The same being broken into two. I, of course, speak of Matari. You know her as the new leader of Serenity Sirens. New? But her significance to this world surpasses the factions and conflicts oh, that I guess Marcus around used to be one. her. My master would like you to know that we are watching and waiting for the results of your actions. Well, I'm glad someone is. We know how it must end, but perhaps something will be left so that we may meet again. Well, can you just tell me more about Matari? I cannot do that. Ah. Ignorance is the only thing that is keeping you free. <laughs> you must play this dangerous game of pretend. Follow Matari's every command and suggestion. Have her believe that you are her puppet. And when the moment comes when you are one step away from death, how do I you know? You will know what must be done. You cannot kill what isn't alive, but you can certainly try, and you can make her feel fear. Can't she feel knowledge in the back of your mind? Anything? Or she only feels fear Offer if the I feel fear? Hint of hesitation or Wasn't that whole thing about her feeling and she will discover our unable little to secret. feel? But how do I know I can trust you? Trust us, and the worst that will happen is that you will lose the approval of the Sirens. Do I Trust have it? Trust Matari, and you risk damning countless realms. So says you. You're a hero, no matter what anyone may tell you. Ah. Only a fool would choose the path of self-destruction. 
Hmm. There's one last thing you should know before I leave. What? There are heroes on both sides of this war between Purity and the Sirens. The one called Bosca is set on a similar path to destroy his own masters. Really? Leave him be, and Purity will unravel from within. So he's not a baddie after all? But what if I run into him again? I might actually have to kill him. Will you? He certainly won't. He won't? Now that the two of you have met, he's come to admire you as a fellow hero. Oh my god. Use that to your advantage. Okay. You'll realize that a part of him will always be holding back. Really? I must return to my companions. May we meet again he has after a hero crush on me, does he? Dova Keen. Alright. See you later. Horka hater. Oh yeah, and there's a huge book that I don't want to be reading in full. But uh, basically it describes from the Desan's point of view how um, Matari appeared to him and showed to him her golden maidens in um, a very sexual situation and that kind of started his whole thing about enslaving women. So it's basically retconning or at least significantly changing the events of the first maids from what i understand and saying that the son wasn't actually the baddie he was just like manipulated by matari even though he did still do horrible things to women but it wasn't his fault yay or like wasn't his idea at least which is kind of weird but i didn't play the first maid so i guess um I think if I did play, that would have been a little bit weird to just be told that the party is a baddie wasn't the baddie. Sir? So, um, the lights are unusual. We have purity to thank for that. These lights were already installed and functional when the palace was rediscovered. Oh. All these years later, and there's never been a need for maintenance. And that's like normal for you? What if there are security cameras there or something? Like, there should be some kind of a security problem with using your enemy's base as your base. How do you know there isn't something here that's spying on you? 